Okay. And we are recording audio in three videos. In 1440p wide view. Okay. So here comes another little experiment riding around Morganton. I'm going to go out to Asheville because it's a little more interesting town, Asheville, I would say. But uh, doing all my tests in Morganton with this three cam setup that I've got. Got three GoPro Hero 3 Black Editions on the roof of my, well, actually, one, the forward facing camera is on top of the windshield, exterior windshield of my Honda Civic. Here's a truck coming in. And I'm leaving from City of Morgan to Municipal Auditorium. That's where we just started. That's actually Medical Heights OBGYN to the right there. That's a really good doctor. Howard Hall's his name. One of the nicest OBGYNs I know. And um, so I'm going to do a little tour here and see how this looks in wide view 1440p. We're going to go through Morganton. I've got maybe 35 or 40 minutes of battery juice left on my GoPro. Now, if it runs out, if these things run out of battery, it corrupts the file. You have an MP, a MPEG-4 file, but it's corrupt. So I'm gonna try, I got to remember it's 6:56 p.m. right now, so I can't go much past uh, 7:30. I had to get out and turn off the, the cams. So I'm coming down College Street right now, and we're kind of on a back street. I went to Kama to shoot some video for work for Grace Ridge, a place that's one of our uh, retirement communities. And I'm gonna turn right and go into Morganton now. And then we're gonna do a little bit of circling around and stuff and just see how things look in wide view. So you got three fields of view with the GoPro Hero 3. You've got narrow, medium, and wide. Now I'm shooting in a, what's called 1440p. It's the same width as 1080p. It's 1920 pixels wide, but it is 1440 tall rather than 1080. So you get more pixels high and low on this. Almost like standard definition if you were to blow it up proportionally, like instead of 16.9, you got almost like a 4.3 video. Only you got a whole lot of pixels. Now I'm gonna be probably sizing these down, things down and doing some composite video because on YouTube I can't right now put 1440p video out there. So we're just going to ride around and look a little bit. Crisscross. I just want to see what does this look like. Is it more satisfying than shooting 1080p video and stitching it together? So on top of my car are two magnetic pads with GoPro mounts in the center of them. And uh, I have I to fully secure those mounts uh, and the pads that they're sitting on, I've put little magnets in front just to hold it all down. The GoPro uh, mounts themselves, the little plastic mounts that the camera sit on, they're super stout, so I never worry about them coming off. At least to this point I've not. We got some people driving a little crazy tonight. I'm sh also shooting in 48 frames per second, so if you stop a, the video on a frame, uh, and I'm moving, it, it should be pretty sharp. It shouldn't be blurred or anything. I, I've noticed in 1080p, if you shoot at 30 frames a second or 24, of course, so a lot of people do that, that your frames, if you pause them, they're blurry, particularly if you're doing these side shots. So, you know, uh, this is the art, uh, or Burke Arts Council on the left, we call it the old jailhouse gallery, and the Chamber of Commerce on the right. I'm gonna turn left here and go around the square. And I am doing a stick shift, <laughs> so you hear that noise. There's the Marquee Cinema on the right and the old courthouse on the left. Looks real pretty tonight. I'll go ahead and turn down Union Street again. We'll kind of go through the main part, then we'll come back to circle around some more of downtown. So this is kind of what the town looks like on March. Um, today is what, March 22nd, 2013. So the leaves have not come out on the trees and stuff yet. That's, that's going to happen. Pretty little town, Morganton, once everything is uh, in bloom. So I'm going to take a lift here on Union Street. You can see the shops. Most of them have closed up for the day. This is a Friday. I'll kind of crisscross through town a little bit. Uh, I started doing this kind of thing just sort of for history. 
Um, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, if video it still exists in the way that we view it, you know, somebody will have rode around and gotten all this. And, you know, it, it's, I, I love looking at old photos. Uh, covered up my, my microphone. I love looking at, at old photos and looking at historical things, uh, seeing how towns have changed. I'm having trouble with my audio tonight. I've got a little audio recorder. I just need to mount it on my steering wheel, I guess, with some Velcro. Chili cook-off was uh, last week. The ACC tournament, basketball tournament, was uh, was this past week, too. I'm going to take a right here. This is uh, here at the Grind Coffee House in Kimbrels. And we're going to go around by the community house. I don't know if I did that the other day. I did a, a little ride-through tour the other day. 